Vincenzo. Hey, the Red Sand Zone, and you might be wondering why I'm speaking English today. Well, the answer is simple, because I'm just trying out how it is making tutorials in English, because normally I produce German tutorials, but in this tutorial I'll speak English. So, yeah, just for my German fans, that they know why I am speaking English. So, don't blame me for some grammar mistakes, because, yeah, I'm a German native speaker, and, yeah, but I'm trying it out, and I hope it'll be fine. So yeah, this Photoshop tutorial is about on how to create those simple 9 gag like 8-bit buttons in Photoshop. So yeah, I think these buttons look really nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I don't start browsing now. No. Yeah, these buttons like this why you know sign up or sign up to Facebook. Yeah, how to do these this 3D look in Photoshop. And yeah, I really like this look, and so yeah, let's start it, and I want to show you how that works, because I tried it out myself. Yeah, close Google Chrome and start Photoshop. Yeah, so the first step is creating a canvas, so an empty canvas, so new, well, it's in German here, yeah, any size you want, and so yeah, we, got, we have our background layer, we're unlocking it, just, I do this every time, so... Yeah, make it a nice gray. Fill it with the color, and yeah, now it now we're starting to create the buttons. So first thing we're gonna do, we go to the rounded rectangle tool here, and yeah, we choose a nice color. I'll choose nice blue, but not here, just in the color picker. So it should not be the first color should not be the brightest, but not the darkest, so something in the middle, so I go here, yeah, something like that, that looks cool. So like this, yeah, and click OK, and now the radius should be 3 pixels, and now we just got to create the shape. So yeah, this looks really nice, and yeah, no outline, yeah, that's in English, and yeah, we zoom in, and yeah, it looks really nice. So the first thing we're gonna do is, do is select, press control and select this little icon of the shape and click on it. Now, So yeah, you see now it's selected. Then you create a new layer and put it under the shape layer. And now you just go one pixel down, control backspace, 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 and another one pixel down control back, backspace yeah now you have it selected and then you go to the to the to your color picker and select a darker color like this one and then you go what the fuck ah oh, shut up anybody on steam so go to the fill tool and fill it with the color so now you can press control d and unselect it so yeah that looks roughly like the button we want to have later. Uh, let's zoom in again. And now we got to do something else. Well, of course you're doing something else. So we go to the to our rectangle shape and we're gonna select it by pressing control and clicking on the icon. And then we create a new layer above the shape layer. Right click with our select tool and go to fill outline. Yeah, I think yeah, the outline, create outline, and then we make it inside with one pixel, and the color should be white, just plain white. And then we press OK. So now we got a separate layer, because this will be the light, the shine, on the top of the button. And now we can unselect it by pressing Ctrl D. And now we just simply go through the razor. Yeah, it's razor. It, to, to the rubber tool, yeah, and now we go to the layer and just, yeah, something like this. And, yeah, that should be it. And now we have the glance, so the shiny effect of the button. The next thing, the next step we're gonna do is, wait, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, yeah. Duplicate both layers, the shape layer and the 3D layer, yes, the layer underneath it. So press Ctrl J, duplicate it, right click, reduce to one layer, 
and put it yeah above it but not above the shine and now this simple as it is we click double click on it go to the layer options and then we go to outline we make the position on the outside just one pixel and then we make it a very dark color even darker than this so yeah let's go to the color select it and make it a bit darker yeah that looks cool so now we have our basic shape so I think the light is a bit too bright so the opacity we do it a bit down yeah like this so then we go to our shape layer and go to inner glow uh, not shadow and we go to now we have to duplicate it again press control J put it above this above the outline layer double click on it go to inner glow oh man the order of this is completely fucked up this really sucks in CS5 it was a lot better so inner inner glow yes go to the color make it a bit darker or a bit lighter yeah something like this turn the the size a bit up and the opacity a bit down and yeah that's it now we have our button I think it, this looks really 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 nice so now we can just put any text in it I think like many other websites 9gag users I think Arial oh fuck you Photoshop I don't want R H R Barkley. I want Arial, Arial, Arial. No, where is this fucking simple font here? Uh, we change it to bold, and when you type just just some random shit, random shit, shit. Yeah, we can enlarge our our random shit. Not too big. Just like this size. And yeah, so eh, come on. Yeah, so just put it to the middle. Bit up. Yeah, that's that's looking good. Turn it to white. And put a little little drop shadow on it. Ninety degrees, just a bit. Yeah, change the position. It's way too far. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now we have our random button, and the opacity is way too big. Yeah. So yeah, we got our random eight-bit like, nine gag like, or whatever you want to call it button. And I really like the style. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope I could help you. And please leave in the comments how well I did speak. Well, I didn't. I think I did not speak well at all. But I hope you understood it. I hope it helped. Yeah. If you like this tutorial, just subscribe to Red Sin Zone. Post it on Twitter. Post it on Facebook. Just to support my channel. I really appreciate that. And yeah, that was Red Sin Zone from Red Sin Zone. Der Philipp mit F from Red Sin Zone, as I call myself in German. Yeah, the Philip with an F from Red Sin Zone. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial again. And yeah, see you soon.